Greetings. I'm going to just go over a quick uh, overview of kind of the differences between the way I manage was and the way it is now with Work 10. So this is just a screenshot um, that I had from an old version of iManage inside Outlook. So when you were in Outlook, you had, let's say you're looking at your inbox, you had the navigation pane and down at the bottom, you had file site, which took you to all the iManage uh, folders and whatnot, and you could browse through here to get to documents. All right, that was the good old days. Um, here's a close up on that. You know, you had your checked out docs, your work list, matter work list, etc. Okay, flash forward to work 10. And I'm jumping on to a remote computer here that I have access to that has iManage Work 10 on it. So, um, some things are similar. I'm in Outlook here, and one thing that's similar is the iManage email filing. That really has not changed much. They've enhanced it, but it hasn't changed much how you file emails using the filing bar. And then you could drag them. However, in the old days, we had down here at the bottom of our folders, file site, which gave us that document work list, checked out documents, etc. That's not in Outlook anymore. Rather, now in Outlook, we have what's called the work panel. And I'm just going to turn it on. And um, it starts out what they call docked. So this, when I'm in iManage, I can turn on the work panel and have it docked in iManage over here to the right. And so this is now from within Outlook, my window into iManage where I could look um, for documents, emails that have been filed, matters, etc. So this, you could say, replaced what was on the navigation pane, the file site. This work panel can be used in here in Outlook. Uh, most people don't seem to do that though, just because you know everything's taking up so much room and it's kind of small here. So you have other choices. You can keep it here or with the work panel, you can do what's called undock it and now use it as a full screen program. Let me get that out of the way. So. I'll show you a little bit more about this in a second. Okay, so this is the work panel no longer docked inside of Outlook. And if I'm gonna work this way when I go into Outlook, then I don't see it. Rather, I go to the work panel itself in its own window. Alternatively, when we say the web version, it used to be there was a web version that was kind of its own different thing, just like a a way to get to documents through the web page. And that can still be um, I'm trying to find it here. Oh, I pinned it down here. This is a, just a shortcut to the web window. Sorry about that. Must log in. Okay. This is exactly identical to the work panel when you have the work panel full screen, except that it is in a web page and so you do have the web uh, address up here and one nice thing about the web version is that um, if you want you can open multiple tabs so i could be on my documents here on this tab and then I could go to another version and be on uh, maybe a particular matter that I'm working on right now. So I can have all kinds of pages, tabs of it open at once. Um, other than that though, this area at the top, it's no different than the work panel full screen. So what some people I'm noticing are choosing to do is they'll take the work panel and either turn it off completely or dock it inside Outlook. And then while I'm in Outlook, I've got it here. So that would be your Outlook add-in essentially. And then when I'm in the web version, I've got it here. Um, 
but the but the features are exactly the same and so I'm just gonna go really fast just point out a couple things this going down the left side uh, the navigation pane this basically it's got improvements it's got some new things added but it's similar to what people had with file site when it was on the navigation pane in site outlook uh, they have tabs now, so if I'm on documents, I've got a couple choices. If I go to emails, I've got a couple choices. Um, they have folders is new, clients is new, where you can go straight to the client. Uh, Recent matters was the matters work list. It was called most places, um, and then my matters. Most places it was called my matters. You might have it something named something different at your firm, but it's basically your matter shortcuts where you can choose the ones you want to see on it. Um, then you've got over here, depending on what you've clicked on to the left, will affect what appears here. So we talk about that. Um, searching, totally different, not hard. In fact, if you were to learn searching from scratch, I would say this is easier probably. It's more like searching the internet. Uh, but there are things you're going to want to know about it. It is totally different than the way searching used to be in iManage. Now, when I say searching, I mean I'm typing and I'm searching. I want to find documents with test uh, in the title. Okay, that's searching as opposed to browsing would be what you would have done within Outlook probably where you would go to a matter, open it, and then go into a certain folder in that matter to find a document. So this is, this is just like it was before once you know where to go to get to the matters, whereas searching is completely different or, or significantly different. And we have an advanced search that's also significantly different that people usually want to know about. Um, all right, let me get out of that. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> um, then we have something called a filter that I love that's new where you can take whatever list of documents you're looking at and filter them down or add to them using these filters, just depending on what you're doing. So we usually talk about that. Um, that kind of works hand in hand with a search or with whatever you've chosen from the navigation pane on the left. Um, there are some different view choices that some people want to talk about. Um, just depends, you know, how in depth you want to get on that. Um, but you have different ways to view it, and you have a uh, details panel that this will look familiar. Um, to what you could see before when you were inside Outlook. I'm going to jump back in Outlook and in the past you would have you could have over here basically this the properties versions um, a little preview it did have a history that has moved to a timeline um, that you can get to by right clicking the document. So we still have a document menu. This is very similar to before, although it has some new features. Um, here's the timeline that I was talking about. Uh, so that's kind of the difference between then and now. Um, and what I'm finding people, people, it's, it's very similar, but it's also very different in some ways. And people do seem to have a lot of questions about it. And then when they start using it, you know, it takes a little while to get used to it. Um, people seem to really like it. I'll tell you that, which is good. Um, then the last thing I would say is you also work from within your Microsoft Office programs, like Outlook was mentioned, or here I'm in Word. I want to open a document, I want to save a document. They've made some changes to this. Um, opening, some of it's similar, some of it's different. Um, saving has a couple differences um, that are somewhat significant that people are gonna wanna know about. And then they're gonna wanna know how to save outside of iManage and open outside of iManage. So we usually cover that. Um, 
save as new version um, and save as are two separate things now. Save and sync is something new that we probably need to talk about. It's a good thing. Then last is the iManage footer. And what are you doing about that? So um, your firm may have a third party add-in that enhances what iManage does with the doc ID or you might just be using the little footer that comes with um, iManage. Um, and I think for the people I'm making this video for right now, I think that's already been taken care of and decided. But if I show this video to anyone else, uh, you definitely want to think about the doc ID uh, before you go live. Um, so talk to me about that. I have a video all on that if you're interested. Um, okay, so in summary, when we're inside Outlook, it's not like it used to be. We have a work panel instead that we can keep docked in Outlook or we can open it in its own window. We also have the web version, which actually is identical to the work panel with the exception of this up here. And uh, it's a web version, but that doesn't mean that people have access to it access to it from the World Wide Web, from the internet, that's up to the law firm. And some, some firms are, yeah, go for it, go ahead and log on, and other firms are like, no, no, no. This is our interface that we can get into it through, but we're not making this accessible to the internet, you know, for fears of hacking or whatever reasons they have. Um, and then again, from within inside your applications, Word, Adobe Acrobat, um, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. There's also that interface, which has some similarities, but also some significant differences. So hopefully that is helpful. Now I have to see if I can stop my video. Good day.